Alright guys, in this video we're going to start to talk about changing fractions. And to start us off, I want to revisit this idea of the equal sign. I know it seems like the simplest thing in the book, but it is really, really critical, right? Equal sign doesn't always mean that the left side looks identical to the right side. Because these two sides don't look identical. There's like a 7 and then an X and then a number 1 over here. And on this side you just have a 7. Those don't look identical. But they are equal in value. We know that 7 times 1, or anything times 1, equals itself. So these two things are equal in value. Now we're going to take this idea and we're going to apply it into fractions. So 2 over 2 doesn't look anything like the number 1, right? There's like 2 2 stacked on top of each other. There's a horizontal line in between. This is just some stuff. It doesn't look anything like the number 1. But they are equal in value. And we know because we can visualize it, right? We look at this and we say, okay, two equal pieces, right? So we know, denominator says two equal pieces, two of them should be shaded in. So two equal pieces, two of them shaded in, that is the same as one whole. And that's going to be very useful for, uh, for us because we're going to use it in changing fractions, right? So. Any fraction like this, 2 over 2, 3 over 3, 4 over 4, 17 over 17, 833 over 833, whatever it is, it's going to, as long as the number is the same on the top and bottom, it's going to equal 0. And we're going to use that idea combined with this idea. Ready, set, go. Okay, for starters, let's do it with a whole number. We're going to do it with fractions later. For starters, we'll do it with a whole number. Let's say we want to do 7 times 1. Now we know that it equals 7, but what if we wanted to multiply it by a fraction? We want to make it look a little bit different, or maybe add it to some kind of a fraction. We want it to look a little bit different. What are we going to do? Well, we know that 1 equals 2 over 2. So we can do some handy dandy substitution, and we can boop that right into there, right? We just stick that 2 over 2 into this equation. Now, in order to multiply fractions, we're going to need to have two fractions, so let's just turn that into a fraction over there. If you don't already know, any number is the same as, in, in terms of a fraction, is the same as that number over 1, right? So 7 is the same as 7 over 1. How does that make some kind of sense? Well, imagine you have 1 equal pieces, and then you want to have 7 of those shaded in. Here's what that would look like. This is a circle with one equal pieces. Okay, so you got one piece, one whole, and then you have seven of those shaded in. It would look like this. And you could count that up, that's seven things, right? So that's it's the same thing as seven. That's the idea. Now we can multiply across the top and the bottom. Seven times two, one times two, and we're going to get 14 over two, right? So very, very simple. What's the idea here? We're creating something equal. 7 over 1 is totally equal to 14 over 2. Now, I get it. These, this side, this left side over here doesn't look anything like 14 over 2, but it's going to have the same value. Do we want to double check it? We're going to visualize. So, 14 over 2 means all of our, you know, circles are going to be divided into two equal pieces, and we're going to have 14 of those equal pieces shaded in. What does that look like? It looks a little something like this. So, here's a circle, two pieces, in the circle, and we're going to shade in 14 of those shaped pieces, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 14. And we got 14 there, and this looks identical to 7 over 1, right? We already said this is what 7 over 1 equal, looks like, and this is what 14 over 2 looks like, and they are the same. So we're trying to create something that's the same. In order to create something that is the same, all you have to do is multiply by 1. We're just going to multiply by some version of 1, that makes it look different but have the exact same value. Why is this going to be important? Well, I mentioned a little while back that when we get into adding fractions, before we had fractions where the denominators were all the same. And we talked about that if the denominators are not the same, you can't easily count them up and compare them and stuff, right? It, doesn't, it, doesn't, it makes adding fractions a little harder. But if we use this skill, which we'll practice in a minute, we can change the fractions into other fractions that have different denominators, right? So this is 7 over 1, this is 14 over 2, so it has a different denominator. And maybe we could add that to 1 half, or 2 halves, or 3 halves, and we have that ability now to add because the denominators are the same. 
All right, that's all for this video. Let's practice.